A lot has gone on since the last time um, we talked to you guys out there in uh, computer land. Well, Ricky is... With a fresh new haircut. Yeah, you thought I was going to say baby. Psych. <laughs> anyway. So. No, look what she done. I chopped my hair off. Look myself. She... I cut it myself. Okay, okay. Me, I still got my hair on top. Yes, I do. See, I did cut it, but I didn't cut it. So, you know, I've been keeping my end of the deal. And a lot, of, a lot of people kept asking because I posted the picture oh, of my yeah, haircut. Oh, yeah, they said. I posted the picture of my haircut on my Instagram. So everybody was like, oh, my gosh, what did AB say? Was he mad at you? The day before I cut it, I told him, I was like, I want to cut my hair and this and that. And he's like, well, if, if you feel like you can do it, he's like, I trust you. You cut your hair. And I was like, all right, I was like, I've seen seen a few videos on YouTube, so I'm pretty much qualified now. So I went and I cut my hair the next day, and he didn't even notice. I'm like walking around the room, and I'm like doing all this, and I'm like laying down, and I'm like, uh-huh, and I'm like doing this number, and nothing. We go to eat lunch, nothing. Like, I went the whole first half of the day with him not even noticing, and I was like, finally I go, I cut my hair, and he was like, oh, he was like, okay, it looks good, and I was like, that's it, <laughs> like, I chopped off, like, a good, um, I she thought, she chopped it was, off about this much, I'm not I, lying. I thought I had chopped off only, like, four inches, but then when I actually turned around and looked, I chopped off a good, like, almost ten inches of my hair, my hair almost, almost reached my butt crack before, like, it was, you it, said, it reached. You it said reached, butt crack. <laughs> my hair, my my hair reached my belt. Like I'll say, like my belt line, I guess, like my waist, and my hair now reaches about my bra strap. So, but it was weird because when I cut my hair, like I knew, like before, my hair came to right about here, and I was like, okay, well, from here to here, that's about four inches, no problem. So I snipped it and I threw it to the back, and I was like, well, that's a lot more than four inches. Like how? How did that like not measure out? Well, I, I'm glad. I, I really, I told her. But please. I cut it, and it feels so much better. Like I got rid of like all that dead hair that. Was I, I like, see just clumps of hair all the time now. I, I, I'm I'm worried. I'm concerned because she started with the bangs. Now she messed with the back. You know, but I've kept to my end. I've kept to my so end of the better. deal. You know what I'm saying? I've kept to my end of the deal. You know what I'm saying? I let the top grow, and the thing about it is, she's now the one cutting her hair. I'm okay, concerned. This is the first time I've ever cut my hair. Yes, but look at how short it is now. Okay, I, I, it's not that bad. It's really not even that bad. It's, it's not short. that bad, but it's, it's, it's you. Short. But you cut it. I did cut you, it, but it cut feels. It. And you said so yourself that yes, my hair looks and a I, lot and I healthier mention, now. I want to mention. I want to mention. While I have you guys, ends. while we have you guys' attention, I want to mention. Please, when you when you read the post, if I post something up, read it carefully, read it real carefully, and think about it before you. If you want to put something in comment, I I, I recently put up, and people are calling it. Actually, they have a name for it. It's called goal clothes. What? You know, goal. Oh, to reach like a goal, achievement, your goal. goal, an achievement, like when you achieve, and achieve a, a goal, yeah. G, G O A L, yeah, and I didn't know that. What, what I did is I, I bought this shirt, and it was a small, and I used it as an incentive to say one day, by the time this day comes, I'm gonna or this photo shoot comes, I'm gonna fit into this shirt. You know what I'm like saying? You use the shirt as motivation. As a motivation, you know, and then I would try it on every once in a while on it. The buttons were still, I was like, oh, got one more button up. Okay, finally. So I posted up a picture and some guy goes off into, you know, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh. And and did you know that they were the Lord's chips? Did you tell him they were not the Lord's chips? And, and I'm like, and he's like, he goes, Easter's. you don't know I have diarrhea since he's, he's going off into like left field, man. You know, he's like. You, if I have extra clothes that I don't wear, I give them to the poor and the needy and the ones who need it. And it I'm wasn't like, even about that. He it bought wasn't the about shirt that. as motivation. Like we, it's not, I, we do give to the needy. We do give to the needy. I, I, always, I mean, I, I'm sure I'm going to get slack for this and people will be like, oh, I didn't do that. I always take our clothes and I put them in the Ronald McDonald boxes. That way they give them to... The, the knee family. So I always hear, don't take them to Goodwill because, oh, the... They'll the, sell them and they make the, money the, off the, of it. Yeah, the, like the, the CEO made so much money mm -hmm. last year off of it and don't take them to here because this reason, whatever. So 
I always take them to the Ronald McDonald box. I hear that, or what else is it? The there's another one that they say you should take them to, but I always drop them. In also, the she boxes. she takes them to the Ronald McDonald boxes because they give them they give them to the homeless because families. You know I, what I mean, I do have to confess that when I met Ricky, she didn't look like she looks now. Um, when I found her, she actually had her eyebrows shaved off, <laughs> and she had them in the shape of the McDonald M. She did. Wow. Yeah. I, wow. I, I helped her out. I told her, sweetheart. Wow. Grow, grow. <laughs> wow. Mom. You turn it upside down, it says, wow. Wow. <laughs> anyway, but I'm just kidding. She never. So had... I, I kind of have like a partial, you know, heart to McDonald's for that reason. Yeah, that's why. She, that's why, because yeah. she, I'm just. Yeah. <laughs> We want to send a shout out to all the people from the from the BCG in Benbolt, Texas. The Brush Country Grill. The Brush Country Grill. Um, the food's amazing there. If, if you can find in it. In Benbolt, Texas. In Benbolt, Texas. Little bitty town in Texas. Little bitty town. Just stop at the high school. Stop at a gas station. Ask where the where the BCG's at, man, and they'll give you directions there. Uh, we want to thank uh, Chris and all his family for showing his mom and his dad. For showing so much love and all the people that were there, um, they have on Thursday nights they have a they have a karaoke, karaoke. and it's so cool because it's, they they're only allowed to have it till twelve midnight. That's kind of a city ordinance type thing. I thought it lasted like till two or so, but it, it's it's really super cool. If you guys get the chance, go out there. Their seafood is amazing. They have like these huge cowboy shrimp, cowboy shrimp, huge. They have all kinds. I wasn't able to eat some of the stuff. That stuff being that. With the boxing and all of that stuff and trying to, you know, maintain weight. Yeah. And so, but I grew up fish. It was fresh. I mean, all the, all the food Delish. looked just amazing. They have all-you-can-eat all pancakes on yes. one of the days. I don't know which day. We're going to have to one ask the them. Mornings. Or I'm sure somebody from Ben Bolt will, not, will post up and let you guys know. <laughs> but can you imagine all-you-can-eat pancakes? How many pancakes do you think you could eat? Maybe like four. I don't even think I could eat. I could probably eat like four or five if I don't eat anything else with them. But if I get like eggs I and think bacon and all that, I can eat like two. You could eat four or five. You could eat a lot more than but that. That's it. If I don't have anything else. If you but don't have anything If else. I have like the sausage and the eggs and like all that kind of stuff on the side, then you I can only sausage. eat like two. You said sausage. <laughs> you said sausage, Beavis. You said sausage. <laughs> anyway, you know what that is in Spanish? It's chorizo. I know. And it means other things also. So just so much. You know that already. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, baby. anyway, but we want to thank everybody, and it was amazing because we went to Ben Bowl just a little bitty. That's where I, where I'm I'm uh, training now, actually, uh, with my oh, new. I want to send send a, send a shout out to uh, Sal Munguia and his wife Rita, and their daughter Rihanna, who we're gonna have the honors of actually going with them, the seventh through the fourteenth, and Rihanna's. She's the number two ranked boxer in her category, weight category. We give that out to Rihanna. And um, she's actually going to try for the number one spot in the country. So I'm hoping that we get to see her bring home a belt. And so want to send a shout out to my coach, Salomon Munguia, uh, who I had the pleasures of stepping in the ring with already. I got back in the ring and and, uh, and did some mitts with him, did um, some Pretty good mint work out there, and it's he's has an amazing gym. And um, if you live anywhere in the Alice area, if you're from Alice, Texas, and you have kids, or you want to get them into a sport, um, Salomon is an excellent. If your coach can get you to the to the Olympics, then you know, and get you belts. She's got like six, seven belts. I don't know how many belts she has, and and he he's just an amazing coach and a great person. Um, you can. Hit my private box, and I can give you. Uh, <laughs> not my box. Don't. Hit, I don't have a. Don't have a I don't have a box. I don't have a box. <laughs> you can hit my private box. I don't have. Don't hit my private box. My. You can private message me, man. I did. Your I, inbox. My inbox. That don't say box. You can message. I don't me have a box. My inbox. I don't. Have a don't box. Say you can hit my private. <laughs> don't hit my private box, please. That would hurt a lot. I don't even have a box, man. Guys I hope not. Guys don't have boxes, man. I <laughs> anyway, hope you don't anyway. have boxes. <laughs> I set myself up without them big time. Anyway, but hit me up. Yeah. If you anybody that lives in the Alice area, if you it's an amazing gym. 
And if you're in the area and you want your kids, but only serious inquiries only, hit me up on my private message and I'll give you information. Uh, because we don't want guys coming out there, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to box, blah, blah, blah. And they come one day. And he, you said was, he, he said he gets that a lot where people go he, out there, they go out there and, they'll box one day and then they don't show up again. Yeah, and that's you know if you're serious about boxing, you 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 love to do, you'd love to learn a sport. It's a great sport, and it's also for your kids. If you want your kids to get into it and you think they can do it, you know it's it's a great sport, and I mean it's it gets you in shape, and it, it's also a great way, way to also learn to defend yourself. Also, if you ever get into a situation, so you know. Um, I highly suggest it. So just hit me up on my private my private message inbox. Uh, inbox. I, I'm not I, I'm not good with this. The, all of this computer. I don't even know how to turn this computer on. I'm serious. I'm, I, I does you talk hello? I, I don't understand. She's what are these? I don't know. What are these? 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 Anyway. My mom needs a trophy the size of the Empire State <laughs> Building. I don't know how my mom. By the way, they had their 50th anniversary the other day, which she's a she's a great mom and and a great wife and 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 I mean she did a fabulous job as a mom and and I love her and and I got to see her today and and it was good seeing her because I mean they're like in chill mode now, man. They're, they're like chill. they're in chill. They deserve it after raising. My sorry ass and everything, <laughs> dealing with everything they had to deal with with all of all three of us. I mean, now it's just she's just relaxed. And I saw her the other day; she was just chilled out, just watching TV. Oh just, yeah, just we throwing went, them. We went to go bother them the other night. And she's like laying in bed, but like the opposite way you're supposed to lay. But she's got the blanket like turned over, like to yeah. cover her. And she's sitting there chilling with the, like the bowl of watermelon. Watermelon, just throwing on them the lunch. Bed, watching TV. And we're like, check you out, girl. And she's like, and my dad too. I mean, he he, he they're just like, it's amazing. I mean, the the we got to meet all their friends and and. Uh, and see a lot of my cousins, that I, some that I hadn't even seen over 10 years, yeah. uh, and some 12, 15 years. And it was just good to see everybody and, and uh, reminisce. Oh, are you guys blasting out there? You're just doing this to try and get a reality show. Uh, I already explained. Dude. If I want a reality show, we don't want a reality we show. Don't we want don't want a people show. in our everyday lives, we, in our personal life, and cameras, mm -mm, and mm -mm, our faces, and mm -mm, random mm -mm, people in our mm -mm. house. No, we don't want that. If we do one, it'll be one about maybe the road for my boxing, where I'm going, where I'm headed. You know what but I'm saying? But we don't, we don't want but, cameras and stuff in our face. Yeah. But the reason we are doing this is because a lot of people kept saying to do a reality show. They wanted in. They wanted. They wanted to see, and you know what I mean. So we came up with this idea instead. Yeah, we. This is a way for our our little gift to you guys. You know what I'm saying. As far as offers and stuff, yes, we've been offered. You know what I'm saying. Maybe in the future, who knows? We're not saying no. We're already getting kind of long here. We're cutting our video shorter. Are we really? Yeah. I was just getting no. started, man. Honey. We're out. Peace. <laughs>